Hi folks, Matt the Cruise from DomainWebStudio.com, ThemeZoom.com and uh, this is the first official sneak preview of DWS 2.6 and in this video uh, I'm just going to speak about the first module which is a solid framework module and just quickly demonstrate to you guys how simple and how easy it has become to use DWS to map out your silo architecture. Right, okay, uh, in this video I'm not going to go explaining everything about all the things we did in the help files and the help systems and help videos that we set up for you guys but this is just demonstrate the functionality and how simple and easy it is. Um, as you'll see here in the blue bar we've got the Silo framework and this is the screen we're on at the moment and the way this works is that the workflow is mapped out in the top in your navigation. Um, when you click on Silo framework you'll get the primary screen which will have your Silo manager, your demographic profile and your work area. This type of theme will run all the way through the entire site so you'll always have visibility of your Silo framework once you've actually mapped and built it out. Um, the business rules and filters is where you set up your configuration for your conversions and identifying things like older niches where in this example we've got 100,000 pages phrase match anything less than 100,000 pages and has the potential to earn us $1,000 per month please identify with the golden star that's how it works uh, there's our conversion settings you just go through that tweak it configure it to suit what you're working on and start mapping out your silo. So in order to get the keywords into DWS we rewrote the import engine and uh, we've created a custom template for for you guys to copy and paste your keywords in um, if your keyword tool is not listed in the list below. Um, but basically we've got the last keyword tool, Kraken, Keyword Elite, Market Samurai, Niche Finder, SEMrush and what that does is you basically export the keywords out of the tool that you're working with and you can just import that CSV file straight in. So um, this works with comma separated CSV files which is the default for most tools that you work with that you export the keyword tools out of. You don't have to modify the templates, you don't have to do anything. We've gone ahead and we've done everything for you and just to demonstrate this I'm going to import some Kraken data <clears throat> and just show you very quickly how simple and how easy it is to work with the data within DWS. So you notice there I just pointed to the file, I selected the tools name and I just pulled in 112 keywords. Now the way the system works is it sorts the most profitable keywords based on your conversions to the top. So all the ones that don't really make you money or won't qualify based on your conversions get thrown to the bottom of the list and the ones that are worth looking at come to the top. It also has, has flagged two potential niches in this list as well. So um, I'm going to look at wetsuit and what we've got here is the the grid. You can sort this ascending and descending but um, the primal, primary focus of this video is just to show how easy to map out a single silo very very quickly. So I'm going to use wetsuit. Um, it's worth 50 grand a month once I'm ranked, it's going to cost me 13 grand to get ranked for that keyword. But I want to use this keyword as a placeholder for DWS. And to do that, I just say exclude from budget. And by checking that box, it won't deduct the 13 grand off. We'll just use this as a page where we'll map our structure underneath it. So I'm going to add this in as a silo and a new silo just to start off the project. And what you'll see over here when it reloads is that wetsuit is sitting there. There's my silo. Okay. And the very next thing that floats to the top that's caught my eye is triathlon wetsuit. So I want to look at triathlon wetsuit and I clicked on the blue plus sign. And this looks at our traffic to profit funnel. It's a, a funnel that takes all your conversions and your costs into account. And it, it sort of runs through this process. And at the end, it looks to see if the queue is profitable enough. Now the colors coincide with all the rules that are checked and there's 17 rules that are checked and whether it passes or fails on the right hand side it will give a description of why it's failed. So yeah triathlon wetsuits based on our conversions we're not going to make money as affiliates okay but it's still got a fairly high conversion rate. Uh, I'm planning to sell wetsuits directly so as a person selling directly that keyword can potentially make me $1,854 a month. Okay, now this could be for me or could be for a client. So I'm going to add that to my blueprint. So we're going to take this as a category and we're going to map it underneath the Silo Manager. 
Right. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to start working on this micro silo here and I'm going to add five supporting articles. So I need to go and import some more data from Kraken. Uh, and I did a drill on triathlete prior to this video just to save time. And I'm just going to bring that data in. And then straight away what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a filter on triathlon and say submit. And this will filter out all the keywords that have triathlon, not triathlon in the actual phrase. So we can see all the shingles in that. We've got 161 keywords we can actually work with looking at this grid. Okay, so triathlon doesn't really qualify over here. And when we're looking at triathlon wetsuit, it's got 703,000 pages. So I want to filter this right down some more. So it's a 703,000 pages. Re refine the filter and get rid of all the triathlon keywords that are greater than my triathlon wetsuit keyword. So now we're sitting with 152 keywords that qualify and what we're looking for are supporting articles. So I'm going to put triathlon wetsuit in here and see what comes back. Right, there we go. So the first thing here we've got is triathlon wetsuit. So I want to add this as a supporting article. It's flagged as a category because it falls within the category range, but we can add it as a supporting article because it's smaller than the triathlon wetsuit, which is 700,000 pages. So this maps out our third tier, the supporting article. So we're going to take triathlon wetsuit there. Uh, we're going to look down here again, and we've got triathlon wetsuit rentals. That can make us $118 a month there. And we're just going to add that in as a supporting article underneath the triathlon wetsuit. So the way that this system works is you select the keyword you want it, you select the pairing keyword you want the supporting articles to fall underneath through the system. You can see how it's mapping it all out there for us. So this is a triathlon wetsuit again. Triathlon wetsuit. Now this is where things get interesting. Um, the income to month, um, what this what this means is basically this keyword you not basically pay off what it's going to cost you within two months or take you slightly longer than two months to get your money back. But it doesn't mean that you don't have to do it because at the end of the day it's still going to be profitable. Okay, um, by the end of the year you would have made a profit off this keyword. Also for our silo structure, these supporting articles over here will be supporting the keyword term we want to get ranked with suit. So. Um, what we can do here is we can basically stick this one underneath as well. And what you'll see happens is as we put keywords into the blueprint, the silo manager by default will rank and sort and order the keywords in the correct order. So we've got triathlon wetsuit, triathlon wetsuits, triathlon wetsuit reviews, triathlon wetsuit rentals. And what I want to throw underneath here is the best triathlon wetsuit. As a supporting article, and let's just fold to that again. And find the last one, yeah. Okay, so look here. Ninety-seven. Let's just take this one, yeah, the discount one. Because that'll sort of give the guys the whole picture. So very quickly, what I've done here is I've, I've, I've created a silo called wetsuit. Underneath that, I created a category called triathlon wetsuit, which is one category. Now for silo architecture, you usually need a silo and five categories to create a proper silo theme, okay? Underneath the triathlon wetsuit, I've come now and I've basically mapped out five supporting articles which carry the triathlon wetsuit theme. So if I go control F and I go triathlon wetsuit, 
and I say highlight all, you'll see that within this micro silo, we have the theme running all the way, and we've got the modifiers best, the S, reviews, discount, and rental. Okay, and with those articles, we can give the guys enough information and have them linking back up to Triathlon Wetsuit to make that keyword get ranked. Okay, so if I go back to Wetsuit, all I need to do is map out the next category I want to work with. Okay, so the next category we have here is interesting enough, the exterior wetsuits and near wetsuits, which are niches, are very profitable. Um, but their competing pages are really low. So what we can do here is let's add wetsuit review as a category under wetsuit. So we've got triathlon wetsuits, we've got wetsuit review as the next category and as we look through the list here we can add shorty wetsuits When you see the brands coming up, um, it's always good to notify that when you do your market research and you do your demographic research, um, when you start seeing brands, you can basically also put brands in as categories if they are popular and that's what people are looking for. So over here, we've got 1,800 searches a month for those um, extra wetsuits, 4,000 searches a month. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to throw in a brand just to demonstrate what it looks like as a category under wetsuit. And you can add these categories as Excel, Billabong, Quicksilver, Ripcore, uh, the Triathlon, wetsuit brands. It's totally up to you. So, one, two, three, four. We add one more year. Let's just add O'Neill wetsuits. And this is how easy it is to map out a silo structure for your wetsuit silo. Um, what we had done here is we created the silo wetsuit. We put in triathlon wetsuit because DWS told us that it is profitable. It gives us the highest rate. We then drilled into another data set of keywords, imported them in, and mapped out the triathlon wetsuit keywords. Uh, once we had mapped out that silo, um, if we wanted to get rid of all the triathlon keywords, once we had finished with that, all we simply do is do a search on the keyword, select the box, Click that again. And delete those keywords. That will remove all the triathlon keywords out of your grid when you're working in your workspace. And this is how simple it is to work with DWS. It's just really, really easy to get in there and map out your silos. And um, once we had mapped our triathlon, we then put in our, our best triathlon, triathlon wetsuits, triathlon wetsuits reviews, discount triathlon wetsuits, and all these keywords we've added here have proven through the keyword grid to be worth something to us once we are ranked for them. So they're justified in the investment that it requires. Um, they've proved to be profitable. The same goes for the next categories. So if we want to see just the, the silo structure, we've got wetsuits, we can talk about triathlon wetsuits, O'Neill wetsuits, shorty wetsuits, wetsuits reviews, and XL wetsuits and these keywords have proven to be where the conversations are taking place and the brands that we put in here are brands that people are looking for and each one has proven to be profitable and this is how simple and easy it is to map out and merge and create your silo structure now obviously uh, in these 10 or 15 minutes I've spoken to you showing you how to do this um, I've done it really quickly we're not suggesting you map out websites in 15 minutes but this is purely to show you how quick and easy with the new DWS 2.6 it is to actually create a themed silo structured website. So if we want to have a look at the the, the silo, 
the category uh, triathlon wetsuit, we can click highlight all and we can see how the braid is running all the way through with the important modifiers. If we want to look at how the wetsuit silo is performing, we got wetsuit, you can see triathlon, best triathlon, triathlon, we can see how all that's supporting, we've got a Anil Shorty Review Excel with the modifiers. You can see how we've woven wetsuit all the way through that entire theme as well. So for the wetsuit silo, it's themed. And then with for the triathlon wetsuits, that micro silo or supporting silo is themed as well. And by getting these ones ranked, we'll get that one ranked. And by getting these ranked over here, we'll get you ranked for wetsuit at the end of the day. Guys, Matt the Cruz from DomainWebStudioThemeZoom.com. And I hope that you found this, this sneak preview informative. Um, I hope you get excited as we are. And I look forward to seeing you on the inside where we can really start showing you how to get the most out of this new tool. Thank you.